This is my second attempt at recording this video because apparently the OBS doesn't like recording comp is running in VirtualBox in full screen, but it will record it in windowed mode. So that's good. But anyway, today I'm going to show you how you can enable comp is this is comp is reloaded, but enable comp is in VirtualBox. I'm using VirtualBox version 5.0 for this video today. It may or may not work on different versions. Depending on which version you have, it might or might not work as well. First, I'm going to tell you that this is the uh, Manjaro Cup of Linux edition, version 1.16-5. I have changed the window manager theme, the GTK theme, the icon theme, and the font from the default. So that if it doesn't look like how it comes out of the box, that's why. Now first, before we actually start doing anything, I want you to know to ignore this. Ignore the, the fusion icon. Just completely ignore this. Don't change any settings uh, in here. Because if you do, then it can uh, cause issues with comp is. Uh, well, actually what happens is if you go under select window manager and choose comp is, the comp is that gets enabled from the uh, fusion icon doesn't work. It doesn't have any of the window managing capabilities like the alt drag like this, alt move, and then the, the resize windows. It doesn't have that. So what you have to do instead is you'll have to go control alt T, run comp is, dash dash replace enter and the screen will flash for a second and then comp is is now running at the top of the screen you'll see that there's no window borders it's not because I turned on no borders but it's because the uh, emerald uh, themes apparently don't render in VirtualBox for some reason I don't know why but you've got the uh, wobbly windows, at least on uh, Manjaro Cup of Linux edition, where you can move the windows around. And um, so yeah, you can move things around. And then you can also, you can't resize, but you can move them around. And then you've got the special effects and all the other special effects like this. So you've got that. Um, now in order to keep Compiz running, well actually, I should say before we get any further, make sure you have 3D acceleration enabled in VirtualBox. And now what we have to do next is we have to log out. Make sure you click Save Session for Future Logins. Uh, the only problem with this though is that if you open Firefox after you do this, it just causes issues and remember don't use comp is on a virtual machine that you care about it messes things up you can't move this around by the way it will mess things up in the virtual machine if if you change things that shouldn't be changed it can like corrupt the settings some of the settings in the virtual machine so that no window manager properly runs but if you do save session for future logins and you have Firefox running, Firefox will uh, open up when you log in and it's kind of annoying. So only do this in a virtual machine that you really, really want uh, comp is to be enabled in. So now we log out, then we log back in and it's loading. And now it's um, loaded the terminal, which runs uh, comp is da space dash dash replace. So now that that's working, we don't really need to leave that open. But uh, in order to clear save sessions, what you do is go into all settings, session and startup, session, 
clear safe sessions and click on proceed and then uh, when you click on when you click proceed and it clears your sessions and the logout screen make sure you uncheck save session for future logins if you hit cancel it automatically reselects it now before you tell me that there's a better way to do it and by going into your home and that config xfce4 uh, xfconf xfce per channel xml and xfc for a session to xml uh, before you tell me that that's the way to do it i i understand that's how people usually make uh, comp is the default window manager but in VirtualBox it doesn't work it's xfwm4 i set it to that i if i set it to comp is it doesn't run comp is that's one way to do it and another way that or that's usually the recommended way. The way that a lot of people on YouTube will do it is they'll go into session and startup, application auto start, and they'll add add stuff, and then they'll do comp is dash dash replace. But see, that doesn't work on VirtualBox. You have to um, run. Um, you have to run comp is in the terminal or comp is dash dash replace in the terminal and then save your session uh, or just run comp is dash dash replace every time you want to run comp is in your virtual machine uh, so yeah that's that's what you have to do it's it's a very hacky method and it shouldn't have to be that difficult to run comp is in VirtualBox, KWIN runs just fine. But that's to be expected because that's the KDE window manager, so it has to run uh, inside of VirtualBox or else you can't really test KDE in VirtualBox. If you have any questions on this video or you have any suggestions for future videos, I'd like to know everything. If you have any tips on videos or if you have any constructive criticism, that's a good idea to post it in the comments. Uh, I read all the comments, and I also make sure that there's nothing bad in all the comments. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.